Mickey Car Beauty Fam. It's Mickey. Welcome back. And on my channel, I love to talk about luxury skincare and luxury beauty. And today I'm finishing up my part two, maybe three, of the Sephora VIB Rouge haul. And I also picked up some other items. So it's the second haul of this month. So if you're interested to in see what I got from the rest of the Sephora VIB Rouge sale, what I picked up from Sisley. And also there was a Saks Fifth Avenue sale, what I picked up from there, then keep watching. Okay, beauty fam. So I'm going to finish unboxing some of my Sephora hauls and some other things that I picked up. So I'm going to open my first box that came in because I did a total of three orders. So I'm going to go through them here. So first off, I ended up getting the Patrick Ta major dimension to eyeshadow palette now i don't have the first one i have now this second one i ended up getting this and i was like no 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 don't get it and then just being honest with myself this is like my color story these are my jam i love rose gold i know i probably have dupes of this but i am so curious to try the patrick ta formula so here is the palette I'm a little disappointed it's a little scuffed yeah, it's like a, it's plastic and there's some scuffs on it. So we'll see. I I don't know if I'm too fussed to return it for just for little scuffs on plastic. So this is what the palette looks like. And I'm sure you're all saturated with this palette on YouTube. But I just thought I'd show you these. They look more, even more beautiful in person. We'll see how they perform. I've never tried this brand before. Patrick Cha is a makeup artist and he, I think he, what I've seen, at least of his, his products uh, from content creators uh, that people love his contour blush cream, blush duo, his blushes and what is it? What else? His lip glosses and maybe lipsticks. Let me know. This is the first time I'm trying his product. So I am curious to try that out. So let me know if you've tried this palette yet and what you think of it and if you want to review if not I'm just going to use it I don't review all the products I get on my channel so for instance I have a NARS unrated palette I haven't done a review it's kind of late so I'm just I'm liking that one a lot so I, but I haven't done a review but let me know if you want me to do a review of this because I feel like a lot of people have done reviews of these already and it's already kind of saturated I ended up picking up the new Tom Ford Soleil sheer cheek duo now this is the first time i've gotten one of these i have always missed the boat i'm getting these when they release so i thought i would try this the number zero two eclat new i haven't watched anyone's reviews on these i am a town ford fan so we'll see how these look so i'm going to open up it it's you know the the velvet the faux velvet pouch the white one pretty standard beautiful packaging from Tom Ford I love it it's it's I mean this is luxury beauty the white plastic and the gold and this is what it looks like so it's that kind of baked gelée formula and I'm not going to swatch it because I actually might do a Tom Ford review of this product I is this a bronzy and sheer cheek duel so maybe one of these is maybe you swirl both of them to be a blush and a highlighter i am unsure i haven't read too much about this product but i will probably do a review of this uh specifically i haven't looked but um you know for my channel i yes i focus on luxury beauty and skincare but i also want to focus on like if this these products are actually going to show up and look good on tan skin so as you can tell, I'm actually getting um, more deep in because I've been out in the sun. And so I'm getting warmer and I don't, <laughs> we'll see if this shows up. We'll see. So I will do a review of that for sure. I ended up picking up the new lipsticks along with this line. So I think there were new, new lipsticks that came out with these. I believe there are four. If I'm not right, I'll let you know below. And these are the, this is a formula I've never tried before. I have tried the Tom Ford, uh, boy, the boy lipsticks, and then the matte lipsticks, the ones that come in the traditional uh, brown casing and gold. So Tom Ford's the Ultra Shine Lip Color. So these are not matte. 
And so let's see what the first one looks like. This, this is 28 Nudist. Oh, this is definitely my jam. So it looks like a rosewood color. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. I don't need to have these in perfect condition for photos. Oh, it's pretty pigmented. That's deeper than I thought it'd be. Okay, it's like a deep rosewood. Okay, so that's the nudist. No, not all these are new. Now I'm looking at them. I remember having hemming and hawing about this. Uh, this is 04 Aphrodite. Let's see if this is what the color looks like, Aphrodite. It has a little bit more orange in it. Yeah, this is a deep plum, more rosewood, and this has more of a red in it. It does have a vanilla, or that vanilla smell. I'm not a fan of that, so we'll see. I just don't like lipstick or foundation that has a fragrance because it's so close to the face and the nose. Uh, this is the color 05 Sweet Spot. Yeah, it definitely, definitely has a scent. This is the bright orange. That might be fun. I am always looking for the perfect orange, like a summer orange. We'll see how that looks. This is the one I'm most excited to try um, to see if I can find one. I'm always looking for an orange. So if you're my skin tone or close to it and have a great summer peachy orange, let me know. And the last one is 20 Riviera. This is what the packaging looks like. Super luxe, white with the gold trim. That's the color. It's pretty bright too, but let's see. You don't know until you swatch. It's very red too. It's kind of like a more red orange. Uh, yeah, so this is more of a peachy hot peach, more red. This is a deeper res ro rosewood and this is a plum. So e my initial call of this was not correct. It's only when you swatch it next to others can you tell. And I love swatching because I think lipstick colors in particular look so different on people depending on your skin tone and your undertone. So let me back up a little bit because sometimes the light blows it out. These are more similar than I wanted them to be, so we'll see how that looks. i curious this might look like too deep for summer, but I'm excited to try that one. So I will do a dedicated video for these lipsticks for Tom Ford and that Cheek Duo. And then part of the, you know, the points, I like to use those as much as possible. I don't really wait to, um, I don't usually wait to build up for a larger product because usually the bigger ones end up going away anyway. Uh, I, I'm really digging this Necessaire body wash in the uh, flavor and the smell eucalyptus. So I ended up getting this at the last haul for my boxes as well. So I'll put that in the shower. And then I ended up picking up two samples, the uh, Ultra Wear Concealer and then the Estee Lauder Futurist Foundation. Futurist Foundation, is that right? Hydra Rescue. I heard this one might be a dupe for the Tom Ford shade and illuminate. So we'll test those out. So I'm going to open the other box. Okay, so I ended up getting another one of these because I had points. So again, I'm using this in my shower, the body wash. Oh, I ended up getting a sample of the LYS Love Yourself Triple Fix Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid, Turmeric, and Ashwagandha. And yeah, we'll see if there is a shade match in here. Probably this one or this one. Great. We'll try this. I'm kind of curious about this brand too. Um, I do support makeup artists um, and he's Filipino. So I'm Filipino too. So I want to check out his brand. Um, I can't remember his name. I'm terrible. Um, oh, distributed by Pogi Beauty. Pogi in our language of Tagalog is slang for cute or handsome, particularly like for a boy. So Pogi, P-O-G-I, Pogi Beauty, LLC, based in Miami, Florida. Love it. One size. And this is Turn Up the Base Butter Silk Concealer. Okay. I think it would be fun to do a video on samples that I get. So I'll try these and be maybe fun to do that. This came kind of empty. And then this box was semi-open. Strange. So I ended up getting the Patrick Ta for brows, major brow shaping wax, and then the Westman Atelier Peau de Peche highlighter. And I'm just gonna open this one because it, I feel like it probably was wrapped in here and just during transit, it just kind of flew all over the place. So I ended up buying this because some beauty friends were saying Peau de Peche is the, the best one. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying 
the Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. I, again, I'm kind of still on the fence about Gucci Westman and Westman Atelier. I sometimes, and I know on my channel I say try for clean beauty, but I do find it's a little bit gimmicky. I'm not sure, it could be just a marketing ploy. What I'm looking at is that things aren't going to harm us. And it's, you know, the makeup industry is like not really super regulated, in my opinion, as much as it should be. Let's see, part of it, I feel like we're paying for Westman Atelier, the packaging and just kind of the hype. But, you know, you all told me this is, if there was one highlighter to get, it was this one. So Westman Atelier, I would say this is pretty heavy. Okay, so a Peau de Peche, again, is the color I got. And yeah, this is pretty luxe. I don't think I would travel with this because I don't want weight in my bag. Really beautiful. I think that might look really nice on my skin tone. A couple reasons why I didn't get this yet because this is a pretty expensive highlight. I, I think it's about 75 or $80, but because of the sale, I ended up getting it. But to be honest, if I were to pick and rank my favorite things about makeup, Highlight isn't one of them. So I would say like my top things are foundation, eyeshadow, lipstick, and bronzer. And then blush probably, but blush, I, I actually love bronzer more than blush because sometimes it, you know, anyway. So those are my favorite things about makeup. Uh, highlight is not one of them. So I feel like I have a lot of highlight that I will never get through. So to buy more highlight seems a bit kind of wasteful for me, but you know, I was curious about the Westman Atelier there, but I will show you what this looks like in a get ready with me video with new makeup. Last thing I ended up getting out of the Sephora haul was this Patrick Ta for brows gel. Now I had read um, that somewhere, I can't remember, he's Asian heritage and he was saying I wanted, it's like I wanted to make a product that actually would tame my unruly Asian eyebrows. Well, I also have unruly eyebrows. Mine are like, I mean, I fixed my eyebrows today already, so they look really pretty good. But um, some days if I want it to just look extra and like want to push them up, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So this is what the packaging looks like. Again, that rose gold. And it opens, looks like this way. Okay, so it's a cream product. And I guess I'm supposed to run a spoolie through that. Let's activate the formula with setting mist or water brush a spoolie or a firm brush into the pan to pick up a small amount of wax so i'll put that in a get ready with me video next thing i'm opening or showing rather is a purchase i made at nordstrom so i ended up working with my sales associate there and when i can i try to get a facial done at at nordstrom's sisley and so she hooked me up. I usually buy at least one product when I get my facial there, which is complimentary because I've bought a lot of products at Cicely Nordstrom in the, in the downtown flagship location. So this is my go-to and I've talked about this on my channel. I ended up getting the Cicely Gentle Facial Buffing Cream and I try to use this at least once a week and leave it on my face for about 10 minutes. And it just makes my skin look so wonderful. It's a natural, it feels like a really gentle exfoliation for my sensitive skin. And I usually can't do exfoliation because I, def I definitely can't do retinol. I can't do alcohol and I can't do witch hazel on my face because I'm so sensitive. Um, it has a kind of a sisley smell and it, this is what it looks like. There's a little bit of an abrasion there. So you're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes and then Ideally, you're supposed to just kind of flick it off and that's where the abrasion of the dead skin cells kind of uh, comes off of your face. It's a little messy, so what I'll do is I'll put it on before I know I'm going to take a bath or a shower and then I'll just do that in the shower, uh, flick it off and then run the shower just because I just so you know, just it does get messy. So, you know, that's kind of my workaround. I don't know if I would do this over the sink just because I think it would stick it really, really messy. This was really great and I use this at least once a week, if not twice. The nice thing is that when I was getting the facial is that Nordstrom was having a sale on Sisley products, not all, but most. And so I ended up picking one I knew that was going to be on sale. So I went ahead and got this because I'm running low. Also picked up, and I don't have the boxes anymore, but I ended up picking up the liners and I 
really do enjoy the Sisley liners. I would say for me, it kind of competes with Chanel and um, mm, I can't even compare it to the one Victoria Beckham I have. I think those are a little bit too smudgy and emollient. I feel like the Sisley ones are kind of more on par with the ones that you get from Chanel. So I ended up getting the Sisley Phytil Coal Star Waterproof in Sparkling Blue. Now look at this color. Isn't that beautiful? The other eyeliner I ended up picking up is the Sisley Fito Eye Twist in 7. I think it's Havana. And it's this smudgy brown color and it's really, really soft. Now I had tried using the Chanel. They have a one like this where it's um, one that you can use as a liner but also smudge out as a base for liner or for shadow. And I actually did not end up liking that product. I felt it was really patchy. And so I wanted to try this color. It's, you know, like a light brown with some little flecks of the shimmer flecks. There's no glitter in there, but you can build it up. And I've been using that actually a lot to just get me going on uh, a base or just when I don't want to use liquid eyeliner. So today I'm using a liquid eyeliner, but there are days when I don't want to use that. And it's been really great so far. So would highly recommend if you're able to get the Sisley, Sisley eyeliners on sale, I think it's worth it. I It's definitely, for me, it's competing up there with the Chanel liners. Now, I haven't gotten any of the new ones because apparently they last maybe longer. I'm not sure. But I do find, yeah, those do tend to get dry a little bit. I have to usually kind of um, warm it up to get it going, whereas I don't find that the case for Sisley. So because Sisley was on sale at Nordstrom, I ended up picking up a bit more. They had some, I think it was like a 20 to 25% off sale. When I made the purchase of the Gentle Facial Buff Cream along with the two liners uh, at the Nordstrom's Sisley counter, the sales associate, I ended up giving me, and I'll put it here, they're advertising it now. When you spend 300, over $350, at Sisley for Mother's Day, they're offering this kind of free gift bag. And because I've spent quite a number of dollars at that counter, and I'm a loyal customer of the Sisley's uh, counter at Nordstrom, the manager, the business manager there ended up giving this to me. And she did make it known that this is usually, usually for like a 350 purchase, but she went ahead and threw that in here. And so I just, you know, this is what I mean by excellent customer service. Like, yes, the products are really expensive, but I think the Sisley products really do speak to the high quality of the skincare and the makeup. So she gave me this really cute little pouch um, and it was a gift bag you can get now for, for Mother's Day over, over for a purchase over a 350. This little bag is made out of recycled fibers. It's cute. It reminds me of like a leopard print, but with some really fun colors. So the bag, open, bag opens, it actually matches, it matches the color of this. It totally does. I just realized that now, like this really cool blue and this uh, brown. So <laughs> awesome. So it's this really cute little pouch great for traveling. And then it comes with all these little samples. And as you know, I love Sisley and all the samples. So again, the eye contour. I love this. This is my go-to eye cream. Let's see the eye. Ooh, eye concealer one. So this is too light for me. So what I'll do is actually, I'm going to pull that aside. Either I'm going to give that to a friend or give it, do and put a giveaway. Uh, she put her name in the car. She's the business manager there. I got a sample of the, oh yes, the, the anti-aging day cream. I love this. Pretty spendy as well. Um, so I'll just go, this, these basically go in my travel kit. I ended up getting, oh, intensive contouring care. I think this is like the body lotion to help with cellulite. I don't know. I haven't had to use it enough to know if it actually works, but really beautiful body cream. There's a sample of this perfume. She put in two of samples of the, the all day, all year essential anti-aging protection. Now, the, they just reformulated this and actually I think I think they increased the price on this. Now I use certain I've been using different day creams um, this during the day along for, along with switching with Augustina Spotter. But when I've used this, it's pretty amazing. And the only thing that's really deterring me is the price. It's it's crazy expensive. I don't even want to tell you how much it is. You can look it up or maybe I'll put it down below. And I think it's even higher than it was before. 
but this this stuff is amazing and so <laughs> she gave me two of these and I'm like I was really excited to try this because this is the new reformulation so thank you to Cicely on that and uh, I'm going to be traveling sometime um, soon so I'm going to use this in my travel pouch because Cicely was on sale and along with other products at Nordstrom I ended up picking up two more liners number seven mystic blue and then number six matte chestnut this is more of a navy blue let's see yeah this is the navy blue but there's like a shimmer in it so this has like sparkles in it but this is just more of a shimmer i love that i don't know if i need both of these but i will see i'll test these out how these perform and then this one is the matte chestnut Oh, that's beautiful. Did you see how easy that glided? I think this is going to be beautiful because I have wrinkles up there. And this is the thing that I've been looking for. I'm looking for an eyeliner that's going to go over across my wrinkles and crease pretty well to cover all those. It just or at least kind of work with what I got going on over there. I was trying the Victoria Beckham one. It's nice. It's very emollient. So my hooded eyelids plus my oily eyelids you know, there's sometimes an issue with migration. I love the Shantikai, uh silk infused liners. Same thing with them is that it's a, a little bit too emollient and that there's migration. So this could work out. I think there's a dry down time. Yeah, there's some smudginess that you can do as well. That's a beautiful, there's almost like a red redness under there. Let me see if I can smudge that one too. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I'll put this in a try-on video. And then I ended up getting the new Clé de Peau Brightening Enhancer Veil. Now, I think this just came out and I was watching Allison Chase and doing her, she does a lot of luxury beauty like Chanel and Clé de Peau. She was reviewing this primer. Now, my Holy Grail primer is the Sisley. Is if you're not new to my channel, it's Sisley the Double Tensor, but that's about $175, $180. Crazy expensive. I went the complete opposite direction and ended up getting the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, which is like $25 bucks for the small one. And so I thought, hey, this is on sale. This is new. Why not try this? This is a brightening enhancer veil with SPF 32. So I love Clay de Peau. I actually have quite a number of the foundations and actually today the foundation I'm using is one of my favorites the radiant fluid natural foundation so I thought it might be nice to combine the two to see how they work together and I also have the radiant cream foundation the new one so I was kind of interested to see how those work uh shake with cap fully enclosed all right so I got some mechanism there for shaking And there's a little bit of drop of it. So I can see a little goes a long way already. Can you saw how that looked? Oh, I can see it's like a brightening. Mm, we'll see. I'm not interested in looking lighter, but more. Maybe it's just like a first pass. I mean, it is a primer. We'll see how that looks. Okay, so it's like a illuminating. Makes everything look a little bit radiant. I'll try that in another video as well. And the last thing I wanted to share is that Saks Fifth Avenue had a sale as well. So there's like lots of sales. I think this is also 20% off. Okay, so I'll share the little story behind this. I had seen that this was on sale and I had heard about this perfume and I am not a perfume person. So you can tell with my videos that I'm always <laughs> looking for scents. Like if there's perfume and lipstick or foundation I'm usually turned off right away especially if it doesn't dissipate or it's a smell I don't like like Dior has some facial products I don't like I don't like that scent so I don't I don't get any Dior skincare it's a it's a deal breaker for me and so I had heard about the product Maison France Francis Codigion from Paris and I'll put a picture up here and I saw that it was on sale at Saks and Nordstrom. So I just happened to be at the flagship store. And then I was, they have this beautiful perfume counter. I should probably take a picture next time. And so I just happened to just be walking by there. I was actually looking at the Byredo counter. So Byredo started off as a fragrance and then now they expanded to makeup. So I was looking at Byredo makeup. So I had to go to the corner and then pass through fragrance to get there. And so they have this like 
beautiful middle area where they highlight the perfume. So it's like this little column. Anyway, the perfumes look beautiful. And I said, huh, why don't I just try and see what this Maison Francis Côte de Jean smells like, the Baccarat. And so he, the sales associate, has sprayed it and said, try it out. You want the red one? And I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, I just thought there was one. And so he sprayed the red one and then gave me the card. And then, you know, I took it home and I smelled it. And then I was hooked. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was like, I was like, I'm, I'm going to put this away. I really don't need perfume. So I put it on my vanity. It's a vanity similar to this, like next to my bed. And then, you know, I found myself like, grabbing it before I went to bed when I woke up I wanted to smell it you guys I'm hooked I so I went back I think a week later and I said I'm still deciding I don't know what the difference is between the 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 regular so this is uh the one that's in the white bottle is I guess I'm, I don't know too much about it maybe the original and there's one that's in a red bottle so this one the one that's in the white bottle is and I'm not really great at yet, at least about describing perfume. This is, it's been described as being a little bit lighter, but more feminine versus the one with the red. It's a little bit deeper in tone. It has just like, I think about the night, it's a bit sultrier. And that's the one he sprayed for me and I couldn't get it out of my head. So the sales associate ended up making uh, and like giving me little samples. And so today I'm actually using this one and it's beautiful. But I found out that I knew which one I liked, which was the red one, which is the one he's like, this is the best one. I missed the sales on it. And I said, you know, let me, let me just, okay. So I have my samples. I'm still trying them out, but I definitely know I love both of them, but I love one more than the other. However, I was able to get the, see, this is the one thing I did notice is that the perfume is really, really strong. So I'm not a perfume wearer. I don't need it to last a long time if actually if it's too strong I don't like it so it's okay if it goes away a little bit so I was looking for something that wasn't quite perfume but something in between so apparently they sell like hair mists and then body cream and then oils which spray so I found this at Saks on sale so I ended up getting the Baccarat Rouge 540 the scented body oil and when I ordered I had no idea other than you know, I wanted to try one of the, the one that was white or the one that was red. And so apparently the way, so this is what it looks like. Here's the box and this is what it looks like. So this is not the perfume, but it is the body, scented body oil. And look at this packaging. It's just, just so beautiful. And then from through the glass, you can actually see a chandelier and then you can see KK as I guess is his logo made in France 12 months shelf life so the way it works is that I mean it's almost like a it is like a perfume bottle and you spray it so I don't want to spray it now because I just put some on but I've been using this I definitely enjoy this in combination with the other one I definitely want the other one <laughs> looking for a sale on that I'm not going to buy it without a sale. So I'm kind of waiting for that to come around. Getting was the Baccarat Rouge 540 and the one that I am obsessed with, not even just love, I'm obsessed with it, is the Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. Extrait? Yeah, Extrait is how what they say. And yeah, I can smell it even here. So I was able to get a little sample. And so I've been, I've been like, <laughs> just really, really diligent about like using this not too much and I have it next to my stand here and just kind of rationing it out so that I don't use it up too fast. So if you know anything about this brand perfume or the extrait, one of you follow me on I think Instagram and told me that the sale was actually a good price. So it's too slow I didn't get it. So if you know of any sales that come up let me know. If you know anything about that uh, perfume let me know. So I'm happy with this but I'm looking for the extrait. So that's it, beauty fam. That is all of my unboxings. I hope that was at least entertaining to pass the time. If you're curious, if you have any questions about the products or you know about the products I just opened, please let me know. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, commenting below. You know the drill. Um, helps mop my channel. And until I see you in the next video, please take good care of yourself and others and just be you. Until then, bye.